Hello, um, I'm Martin Burton. I'm just going to talk about the LED 48s that we have in the showroom. So this uh, has a, an interface uh, here, which is where we control what jobs are printing. So you can see at the moment I've got six images. Essentially, there's six uh, of the same image, step and repeated. Uh, I'll come back to that interface in a moment, but just to walk you through the machine. I'm going to start it printing. This is in production mode. Um, all the prints that we're doing on here will be available for sale for you to look at. So as we go over to the machine, you can hear the machine starting up, the heads will raise, and now the, the carriage is starting to move forward. This machine has an anti-static bar, which is this black bar you see on the front. So what that's doing at the moment is deionizing the print, although this is paper, so it doesn't make a lot of difference, but that's particularly good for plastics. Uh, it will then start printing. Well, I'm just gonna talk you through the printer at the front. So this machine uh, has pins, so we can actually press the pedal and bring the pins up. Obviously they won't work uh, whilst the machine's printing. So you can, if you've got a, a big sheet, you can actually just push, the, push your material up to the pins. Uh, otherwise you have a ruler that you print on the bread. This has, this has zonal vacuums. To control those zonal vacuums, we have some valves at the front, which we, we can turn on off to close down uh, those vacuums according to whether we're doing a big area or a small area. Otherwise you can tape areas, such as I've done on the bed today as well. This machine has uh, ink bags at the front. So on this side, uh, it's an eight color machine. So at this side, we have a light sign and a light magenta. Uh, they're in a two liter bag. And then we have a white and a varnish. These can be removed whilst the machine is printing because um, there is a reservoir behind this to carry on with. Uh, I'll just pop that back into the slot. If we look at the other side, uh, the only additional item this side to the CMYK inks is that there is a, a, a coolant solution just for uh, keeping the print heads at a set temperature all the time. So very controlled. Foot pedal for uh, turning the vacuum on, or it can be done in software. So if we want to have a little walk around the back to have a look at how it's printing. So we can see we have it's an LED 40. So this machine has all the whistles and bells. It has a uh, LED curable inks. So therefore we have very long life and low energy power to actually do the curing on this. Uh, we have the ability to do automated cleaning. So we have a cleaning pad at the front, which I'll show you in a while. Um, and uh, we can also do manual cleaning as well. If we go to the other end of the carriage, you can see uh, the configuration uh, of the printers. This is obviously the waste side. We'll see when we have a look at the end where the printers are, but they obviously are uh, directly above the, the slots for head cleaning here. So other than that, we'll just leave it printing for now. So uh, one other thing which uh, we can show you uh, is we can show you the creative wall. So both of the uh, machines we've been showing you today, the uh, 38 and the LED 40 are capable of producing lots of effects such as we're seeing here. So what you have here, if you'd like to come closer, is we have a range of materials. Some of them are, are uh, aluminium based, uh, aluminium composite materials such as this. So it's a metal material. Uh, this is actually a glossy black material. I don't know whether you can pick up on there where we actually have a varnish, which is creating a shape of the, uh, the vinyl effect. So what we're doing here is we're hiding the, the material with a white spot color, and then following it with a color, and then finally going over and printing a varnish. So both these machines are eight color machines, and uh, they can be configured with a varnish, or they can actually be, be configured with a double white, which means you've got a much stronger white uh, and, it, and it prints a little bit quicker. So big range of things. I mean, with a, with a, uh, a varnish jar, it's quite slow, but you are able to do some very special effects, which you can probably see on that one. Uh, UV inks, of course, have very good opacity. So when it comes to backlit materials, you get very good opaque colors. Obviously with the light behind it, that would look quite stunning. Um, unusually with a white ink, you because it's a flat bed, you are able to image uh, the white separately from the, from the color and you can build up a texture. So this texture that appears like leather is actually built out of an image, a bitmap image with a white. And then we're printing on top of that, a CMYK image just to fill the color in. Another one, which is a bit different. This one here is actually printed reverse. So we're printing color and then a white, but in a density mode, but on the front, obviously, you can see that we've also got a varnish sitting on the top layer of the acrylic. Other effects such as we're seeing here, we can just see a brushed aluminium composite material. And all that's happening here is we're putting a white down to hide that aluminium and putting color on top. So 
the aluminium, there is a hole in where the text is, where you can actually see the numbering, and everything else has been hidden by white with a colour on the top of it. So some very creative print you can do with this machine, but you can also do some production as well in comparison. So uh, just looking at, if you like, the mileage that this machine has done, it's a demo machine. It's only actually done 557 prints. It's done 263 square meters in area. Uh, so you use very little ink at all, really. Um, printing time, 52 two hours. A total ink consumed one and a half liters. So very low usage.